I've seen the world on it all Had my cake now Hot summer nights with wine When you and I were forever wild Starting with the brows, fill them in with a dark brown eyeshadow and sketch a thin line till it meets the end of your eye. Then make them thicker so they don't look penciled in. Next, apply concealer around them to clean up any mistakes. For the eyeshadow, I am dipping into my favorite natural matte palette and applying a light orangey brown across the whole lid. Be sure the shadow goes up to the eyebrow. Then within the same palette, apply a medium brown eyeshadow to your crease and half across your eyelid. Next, apply a thin amount of eyeliner. Now, curl your lashes with a curler. Then apply mascara to the top. I am using the Better Than Sex mascara, which is amazing. Before moving on to our under eyes, apply some concealer to brighten them. Then take a light brown and create a shadow onto your lower lash line. Now apply a very light amount of mascara to the bottom lashes. To warm up your face, apply just a bit of blush to your cheeks. Next, apply highlighter to your eyebrow bone and cheekbones. For those who have been wondering in my previous videos, this is the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter in the shade Blinded by the Light, which is the best highlighter I've ever tried. Now apply your favorite red lipstick. I'm applying Best Me Cosmetics Dusty Rose Lipstick and lightly patting on the red velvet lipstick to create a toned down version of a red lip. So this is the finished look. So now it's time to remove my makeup so we can move on to the next look. I am using Clinique's Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. This is a really good formula that dissolves all of your makeup, even if it's waterproof, and it does not require any hard scrubbing, and it does not irritate or sting. So Clinique is actually having a promo through July where if you buy any of their makeup cleansers or makeup removers, you do get a sample of this. So if you're interested, make sure you do it this month so you can get a sample to see if you like this product. Okay, so for the second look, I just created the same eyebrows as my previous look, and I'm applying the brightening powder to shield my skin from fallout when I do the dark eyeshadow. So for the eyeshadow, I'm using this very retro glam palette from Lancome, which is absolutely stunning. For the eyes, take any pinky gold color and apply it into your crease and really build it up so it's heavy. Then take an eggplant purple and apply it all over your eyelid. Then apply thick eyeliner and just smudge it around. And don't feel like you need to make this look perfect. To me, what's sultry about a dark eye is that tiny hint of imperfection with the eyeliner. Now do the same for the bottom lash line. Then take that purple color and smudge it into the eyeliner further to diffuse it.
Next, apply your lashes. These are the House of Lashes Tinkerbell Collection in Just Wing It. Then apply mascara to the top and much more to the bottom lashes for that cabaret look. Now apply just a little hint of blush and highlight your brow and cheekbones. Lastly, apply a solid bright red lipstick. And this is the finished look! So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos such as my 1960s look and my Powerpuff Girls transformation video. And don't forget to subscribe so that way I can see you in my next video.